We did it. We finally did it. We had a breakout video. 500 views more than. It, it's like 510 at the time of recording this on our last video. That's absolutely insane. Thank you guys for the support. And once again, welcome back to the channel. I am Chris Captures. And I need to find a follow-up to that last video that did so well. I don't, I don't know what to do. Thank you for the support, guys. Um, Yeah, I'm absolutely gobsmacked. But if we could, if we could have a big push on subscriptions this time, we had... We've, like, doubled our subscriptions, but it's still, I believe, I'll put a graphic on screen, it's 99.8% of viewers weren't subscribed last time I checked, which is absolutely insane. That's, like, it's pretty much all of you. Nobody is subscribed. Sub subscribe. There's a big, big subscribe button here. Anyway, after that big push out of the way at the beginning, this video is basically going to be my top five manga slash anime merchandising wish list. So these are sort of things that are in a ballpark of buyable for me right now. Um, it's not like my dream wish list of like a, a 10 grand f like figure with light up and movement. and No, this is like realistic stuff, stuff that I could feasibly buy. Um, but stuff that I've obviously not bought right now. So it's, it's a bit of a, a little bit of a, ooh, a little, a little bit of a gimme like, mm, ooh. Ooh, look at this cool shit. Have you seen this cool shit? Look at that cool shit. I like cool shit. So I'm going to run this list down from five through to one. One being like the absolute biggest thing that I want right now. Uh, maybe in the future if you like this video as well. Let me know in the comments down below if you like this video. And if you want to see maybe like a dream wish list in the future. Instead of like a bit more of a boots on the ground type wish list right now. Also, in the description down below, let me know what would be your top five things on your list or which is your favorite out of all the products that I list today. So let's get on with the list. Number five, Burger King Foot Lettuce. So taking the number five position today is a collection of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure art books. So if you saw the last video, I got a One Piece art book. Because I, I absolutely love art books. Obviously, we collect manga, we collect comic books. I've got art books and trading cards and everything. I have multiple like posters, which aren't up in this new house yet. But stuff like that and art prints. I love just creative ways of displaying art. And I think Araki has some of the most crazy concept art pieces. He absolutely bends genre every time he puts pen to paper. And it's absolutely incredible. So, on my list, I've got the Jojonical. This book came out in 2019. So, this is probably the most recent one out of all of them. So, this one is currently clocking in at about £46. So, like I said, this is probably one of the newest ones. So, the price is still reasonable on this. And it is available a lot easier. Absolutely stunning art book. It follows everything up until uh, Jojoleon. I believe we're on at the moment that's just about to end yeah that actually ends in just 15 days from today so only from two weeks from now part eight of jojo's will have finished which is mind blowing to think the next one is an art book that i've craved for so long this is jojo 6251 so this art book came out before even i was born this came out in 1993 so this is covering everything from parts one to just as he was releasing part four i think diamond is unbreakable so at the moment this book has only ever been released in japanese but they have recently revealed that in spring 2022 this is coming to the rest of the world so we will be able to get inside the mind of araki with all his notes and descriptions and his thought processes and stuff like that which is so cool but i kind of kind of want the japanese version of it as well just as sort of like a collection piece uh, get his original version of this from 1993 this is currently clocking in from what i could see at around 78 pounds right now i don't know what the price will be like when the english copy comes out the third art book that i've got in the number five position is jojo a go go this came out in the year 2000 and this is currently clocking in at 186 pounds i nearly said dollars 186 
pounds. That's even more in dollars. It's absolutely insane, but it comes with multiple different books, art prints, the lot. It's a beautiful piece. And this obviously goes up to, I think, I think, I think it's like part five, maybe bordering on part six that this goes up to. And then the final art book that we've got in this list is the Jojo Velour package, which if you're looking at it here, is absolutely insane. It comes in like a special custom box. It's got DVDs. It's got art prints. I think it's got a CD. Multiple different books in it showing all like the latest stuff. This one came out in 2014. So this is like a fairly recent one. But this is absolutely bizarre. Like hence bizarre adventure. As a little bonus in the number five position. If you saw my very first video on manga that I ever did. I slipped this in there. It is one of the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure exhibition 2012 posters this one is for steel ball run currently clocking in roughly around 150 pounds is what i'm seeing it for on ebay and other listings like that so you could only get this poster if you went to the exhibition of jojo's bizarre adventure back in 2012 and it's like a classic band tour poster i think it's absolutely stunning it works so well for the theme of jojo's part seven i would absolutely love this if you watch sea dog va he's got this up on his wall in his office and it's absolutely incredible ever since i saw that in his office i was like i've got to get a version of that it's pricey though it's pricey for an art print it is a big size it's a big poster size like it would fill the wall i ain't flush with cash right now taking the number four position on this is some anime and manga inspired clothing so the first thing on this list is the dragon ball z x primitive skateboard collection i've loved this collection so much i think we're on like the third or fourth drop of this now and every time they go to like a slightly newer generation so it started off with dragon ball and dragon ball z and now we're on to the dragon ball super era of stuff right now i'm on route one which is uk based skateboarding brand uh, store so they do everything from nike sbs to van santa cruz uh, everything they work with primitive which is who do the collaboration with the dragon ball z stuff but anyway here are the products it's super cool product the tie-dye looks so good i'm absolutely in love with this dragon ball super all the phases are trunks so you've got super saiyan trunks and you've got the original versions of trunks and stuff like there with the sword and stuff like that absolutely gorgeous t-shirt that one this is a cool hoodie if they did it in maybe like a black um or something have we got it in black doesn't look like it but we got like the pink head and um, god super saiyan goku or super saiyan black rose as it's called there and um, i haven't watched dragon ball super yet i do plan on watching it in the future because i'm massively into dragon ball but I'm a little bit out of touch with Super, so I get the name of the Super Saiyans wrong. They also do skate decks, and they do wheels that match and stuff as well. Socks. It does go on sale, which is pretty nice, but otherwise it is kind of pricey. They also did a Naruto crossover as well, which is pretty cool as well. But for me, it's got to be Dragon Ball. The secondary market for this, it sells out so quick in the larger sizes, and normally most things sell out at full price. It's very few things make it to sale, but when they do go on sale, they're a decent price. The secondary market though unfortunately inflate the prices insanely you'll pay about twice the price i've seen some t-shirts going for like 70 pounds from the original drop i think this is like the third or fourth drop that they've done with primitive and dragon ball we've got the prices here if you want a full outfit and a deck it's going to cost you 35 pounds for the t-shirt it's going to cost you 75 pounds for the hoodie and 65 pounds for a deck then if you want to get dragon ball wheels to match as well it's number 30 uh, pounds i've never skateboarded i was never allowed to skateboard growing up because i was really accident prone i really wish i could skateboard so maybe maybe in the future i might pick myself one up and try and learn how to... is it too late is it too late in your mid-20s to try and learn how to skateboard let's just look at this t-shirt this t-shirt is gorgeous look at this you got the little pocket design as well look at that this is available in extra large if i was if i had some more cash best believe i will be on that right now and also in fourth position i've got a jojo's bizarre adventure t-shirt because it's so hard to get like jojo's merch in the uk so this i can only find on american sites which are important from japan this is the ultimate cars long sleeve t-shirt they do it in black and in white it's a reference to led zeppelin's icarus from i think 1975 i'll put that design on screen as well so you can see how they relate but this is such a nice design t-shirt but the only thing is, 
because you're importing it from Japan and then I would have to get it from America to the UK as well it would cost way too much in delivery also it's an expensive t-shirt as it is obviously like licensing these things is a nightmare so it's currently at $116 which is roughly around £84 which is absolutely mind-blowing to pay for one t-shirt I'm never going to do that in a million years but my god is it nice so in the number three position today, we have got the My Hero Academia World Heroes Mission, which is the upcoming film. It's the new Bandai figures from this. You've probably never heard me talk about it on the channel so far, but I am really enjoying the show. I'm fully up to date, and I think the new film designs for Todoroki, Bakugo, and Deku look amazing in the film it looks like on the posters it's like neon as well so all the patches of color on it also look neon the glowing whereas on the statues they don't quite glow but look at the new designs they look so sleek in the all black i really hope these like costumes stick around for a bit i know obviously the costumes change quite frequently in the show at the moment but i really hope that these ones stick around for more than just the movie but these figures launch in roughly february in 2022 so they're not out yet and they're currently retailing for about 45 to 50 pounds in the uk depending on where you order from i don't know how much i trust some of the websites which have it a little bit lower some of the more notable brands in the uk like forbidden planet i've got it at 55 but then you are paying like 10 pound on top of what most of the places are listening at so i'd say around 45 to 50 pounds which brings the total if you want all four of them because there is also endeavor as well if you put them all together, that equals up to £180 for these four figures. They do look absolutely gorgeous, though. Taking the number two position is sort of the perfect storm for everything that I'm into. If you've noticed on my shelves, I'm really into Funko Pops. And if you've seen any of my latest videos, I'm so into One Piece right now. And One Piece have got a Funko Pop line. If you see this picture here, this is most of them. So the main line has got most of the main characters. It's got all the straw hats. Some of them have got different variations as well. So if you look, there's two versions of Chopper on there. Because one is a flocked version. And then there's even a third one, which is buff Chopper version as well. We're also getting some new updated costumes for, I believe it's the Wano arc. So you got Luffy in a kimono. And you've also got Zoro in like a kimono samurai sort of casual wear absolutely insane looks so if you wanted to get every single different pop including the chases like there's the new shanks is coming out and there's a chase shanks as well chase means that it's a slightly different figure it's normally like one in six to one in 20 so they are harder to get a hold of you just need to randomly find it in a store which is insane love the way that funko pop do that but there are 26 pops in total roughly most of them are around 10 to 11 pounds in the uk obviously some of the chase exclusives go up in price but on average we'll say around 11 pounds and there's 26 of them so my maths works out that that should be around 286 pounds to get this full collection on average obviously you could just go for one of each of them like just get the normal chopper or the flocked chocker chocker you could either get the normal chopper or the flock chopper you don't have to get both of them so you can knock a few off that list but how cool would it be to have all those funko pops on your shelf at once get the entire one piece line it would be gorgeous it would be magical it's exactly what my upcoming one piece shelf is gonna need sitting alongside sanji there so good and then taking the numero uno position the number one the mac daddy the top of the billboard charts is the demon slayer statues that are coming out at the moment and oh my lord there are some gorgeous statues here guys there are so many to mention i'll flash them on screen now but the two that i'm really interested in at the moment is tanjiro versus ryu so this is the episode 19 i believe when this finally happens Episode 17 to 19 is like a three-part fight between Tanjiro and Ryu. And this is where, spoiler alert for Demon Slayer, Tanjiro finally wins and manages to decapitate him. He channels the flame breathing as well. It's absolutely gorgeous. You've got the wisps of flames around Tanjiro. You've got the head coming off. I think there might be lights in this one. I'm not entirely sure. But it is absolutely stunning. This figure just 
needs to be stared at for so long. It's absolutely gorgeous. This one is retailing around £250. And this one is made by Niren Studios. I can't find Niren Studios' own website. So I've had to go through like second party website to find the prices. And the other one that I wanted to mention, I believe is by Magic Cube. This is the Shinobu Insect Breathing. I absolutely love this. The flow to it, the elegance of the butterflies and everything like that. And I think the colours, purple is one of my favourite colours. So this just stands out to me. I think Shinobu is such a cool character. She's probably tied for best girl with Nezuko, I believe. She's so cool. I think she's going to do so much more cool stuff in the future. So yeah, I think this statue was absolutely gorgeous. There are even more expensive versions of this, but this is like this is like the maximum of what like my wish list would go to without it being like a pie in the sky crazy dream wish list. This is sort of the maximum and this currently retails for a whopping $600. So the $600 roughly translates to £432 in the UK, which is absolutely insane. I would never be buying this in a million years. But it's kind of within grasp. So it's it's getting the number one spot up there with the Tanjiro versus Ryu statue. Those two would look gorgeous in a display unit with all your demon slayer collection next to it especially with the new demon slayer funko pops that are coming out in a few months they'll look lovely with that the demon slayer box set is going to come out i'm going to hold off buying any more of the manga until that box set comes out and i'll buy it all in one go it looks gorgeous and then i might sell my, my single issues there but i've also got my japanese copy of it as well imagine how nice that would look you've got the ryu versus tanjiro statue then next to it you've got an english and a japanese copy of issue one of Demon Slayer. Oh, I can, uh, uh, absolutely gorgeous. It's crazy to think about. So yeah, if you were to buy everything on my top five list, obviously there's more than five items, but I was grouping some of them together. It's like a number five. It would be a JoJo's R book. It could be any of them or it could be all of them. So I kind of fudged the numbers a little bit, but it's still a top five for me. As I said, let me know what you guys think the best product was on this list, which one you would personally have in your list. Or if you want, tell me what your top five is down below. And also, see if you can guess how much it all costs together. Don't, don't go and do the maths now. Just take a guess. And I'll give you the results in five, four, three, two, one. This would cost a staggering... Two thousand one hundred and fifteen pounds to get everything on this list. Oh, I just heard I just heard my bank card screaming from the other room. Oh, there's a knock at the door. It's the banker. He's told me to just stop even looking because it's costing me too much just to look. This is absolutely insane, guys. This would be my dream top five right now if I could buy things off my wish list. Let me know what videos you want me to do in the future because I've got a few ideas. I'm currently reading a load of One Piece, so expect probably a review on the East Blue, the first arc. Um, that's probably going to come soon. I want to make some videos about anime as well as just manga. And then I think I've also want to do maybe my top five favorite comic book writers. That sounds interesting to me. Let me know what you guys would want, whether you want to see what's in my Amazon wish list in terms of manga and stuff like that, maybe. Just let me know in the comment section down below. I'll try and make the videos that you guys want to see. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said earlier, thank you for all the support. It's absolutely insane. I cannot believe how much that last video blew up and how much we've grown already. It's absolutely insane. So please remember to subscribe. Get those subscriptions up. Get it away from 99% unsubscribe. Come on. We can do better than that. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch. Don't forget to check out my podcast, Get Real. Also, if you want, there's a link in the description down below to join the Discord as well. So you can help it on there, talk all things manga, anime, D&D, &D, absolutely anything that you want on there. Everything's down there. Send some memes. Absolutely insane. Let me know. It's also the best place to keep up to date with everything going on with the channel and my Twitch and everything like that. If you go to the Discord, let me know what videos you want me to do in the future there. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully next Thursday, UK time, 7 p.m.